Hey guys, it's Angelica, the coupon clipping teacher, and I'm here to bring you my CVS haul for May 1st, 2016. Um, I had a really great haul today. Um, I took advantage of a glitch that was happening at CVS, so I'll explain to you what that is if you're not aware of, of it by now. But um, I did do two different transactions on two different cards. Um, I do have two cards, one of the cards I use all the time exclusively the other card I just kind of have a few ECBs on it and I just um, when there's a really good deal I use the second card um, it was a card that kind of died for a while um, so I quit using it and got a new one um, so once in a while I do go back to that card um, so let me go ahead and show you what I got here the first thing I did was the P&G deal so the P&G deal this week is spend $20, get $5 in extra care bucks. However, it was glitching starting last night with early activation. People are posting it. Um, it's glitching and it's giving back $10 in extra care bucks. So you're spending 20 and you're getting back 10, which is a great deal. Because typically if it's not spend 20, get five, it's gonna be spend 30, get 10. So um, I checked Instagram this morning. I saw that, you know, that had happened. And I went out and I did one transaction at about 115-ish, and the other one at about two, because I went to two different CVSs. And as of you know two o'clock today, it was still working. So let me show you what I did. The Charmin is the 16 count package. It is 9.99, and um, the Tide are 5.94. So for the P&G deal, this is how it worked out for me. The Tide two at 5.94 comes to $11.88. I used two $2 manufacturer coupons from the P&G that came out today. So I paid $7.88 for those two. The Charmin is $9.99. I had a $1 manufacturer internet printable. Um, those are no longer available. I printed them a month ago. They expired today. So if you printed them, go through, check, see if you printed them. If not, there is a 50 cent coupon that I saw yesterday. And then there's, I think, a 25 cent in the P&G. I also had a $2 CVS coupon. It printed maybe a week or two ago at the coupon machine, and it said save $2 when you spend $9.99 on Charmin or Bounty. So I had that, so that came down to $6.99. So that's the P&G deal that I did. So like I said, spend 20, get five, but I put $10 here because it's glitching and giving back 10. So hopefully, you know, you can guys can get in on that before it, you know, fixes itself. Um, I will say though, if you do do the glitch and you get the $10 extra care buck, flip it immediately because CVS has done it in the past to where you got a higher value extra care buck that you weren't supposed to and they fixed it. Meaning when you scanned it, let's say for example, if you scan this $10 one in a couple days, it might scan for a five. So, um, keep that in mind. I would flip it right away. I flipped mine and I'll show you what I did. Um, but let's finish up this transaction. So, um, the soft soap this week is on sale for $3.49. When you buy one, you're going to get a $1.50 ECB. And we also have a $1 manufacturer coupon. So I think your end result is like 99 cents or something like that. But um, here's what I did. Two soft soap body wash, remember these count for Beauty Club, comes to $6.98. You're gonna use two of the $1 manufacturer coupons from the Smart Source from today. I also had a Redbox coupon for $2 off of $6 worth of body wash or bar soap. So I paid $2.98 and I got back $3, so it ends up being free. And like I said, it counts towards the beauty club. And the last thing I got in this transaction was the Colgate Daily Repair. These are on sale for $2.99, get a dollar extra care buck. We have a $2 manufacturer coupon in the Smart Source today. Um, I wanted to get three of them, but the store I was at only had two. So I just got the two. Okay, so two Colgate toothpaste comes to $5.98. I used two $2 off one manufacturer coupons from the Smart Source from this week, and I had an expired $2.50 off of one Colgate Max Total or two in one toothpaste. It was printing, I think, two weeks ago. Um, my CVS takes expired Redbox coupons, so I was able to use that. So I paid 52 cents and I got back $2, a dollar for each tube. So it was a money maker for me. 
So my total for all, let's see, two, four, six, seven of these items came to $34.84. I had $17.50 in coupons. I had $13 in extra care bucks. So my total came down to $4.33. I paid $2.47 in tax for a grand total of $6.80. However, I did have a $5 gift card, so I only paid $2.80. My second transaction, um, like I said, if you do get the glitch $10 extra care buck, you want to flip it right away. So use it right away so you're going to get the full $10 and you don't have to fight for it. The physician's formula this week is on sale. Spend $15, get $10 back. So to me, that was just the easiest flip that I could do. So that's the only thing I bought in transaction two. So um, I got the physician's formula argan oil. $14.99. I had a $3 off of $15 or more CVS coupon for cosmetics. Um, I used that $10 extra care buck from transaction one. I paid $1.99. I paid $0.96 cents in tax for a grand total of $2.95. So the breakdown for um, the breakdown for this card, the retail total for all of those things right there was $66.12. After all of my coupons and extra bucks, I paid $6.32, $3.43 in tax for a grand total of $9.75. But like I said, I had a $5 um, gift card, so I paid $4.75, which means my savings without the gift card was 90 cents with the 90%, sorry, and with the gift card was 98%, so fantastic. Um, my beauty club total for this transaction only was $21.97, which pushed me to my next 50. So I walked away with $15 in extra bucks, and I will be getting a $5 beauty club reward back. Okay, so on my other card, um, this is the card that I kind of don't use that much. I bought four Tide because of the P&G deal. Spend 20, get five, but it's producing a $10 extra care buck. So these, like I said, are on sale for $5.94. We have $2 manufacturer coupons in the Procter & Gamble from this month. I also had one $2 printable from a few weeks ago. Um, and I think that there were some available yesterday. I don't know if they still are. But the Tide comes down to $15.76 and you're going to get back a $10 extra care buck if it is still glitching. If it's not, then um, you'll get back 5 which is still a good deal. Um, this store that I went to, I went to a separate store. I don't like to use two different cards at the same store, but um, that's my other cat, Angel. You guys saw him before. But I don't like to use two different cards at the same store, so I do go to two different stores when I use two different cards. Um, this store had a whole bunch of the Colgate Daily Repair, so I was able to get three of them. So three Colgates at $2.99 comes to $8.97. Again, I used the $2 off one manufacturer coupons from the Smart Source, and I had another $2.50 off um, Redbox coupon from this card that I didn't use from two weeks ago. So I paid $0.47, cents and I got back $3 in extra care bucks because you're going to get back a dollar for each one of those. So my total was $32.73. I had $16.50 in coupons and $11 in extra bucks. So I paid $5.23 plus 262 in tax for a grand total of 785. Okay, for transaction two, I flipped that $10 ECB that was glitching, because like I said, they could fix it, they might not, but just knowing what has happened in the past, I wanted to get rid of it as fast as possible. This time I picked up the bronze booster from Physicians Formula. This was $14.99. I had a $4 manufacturer coupon, which was a Peely. I used that $10 extra buck, paid $0.99 cents plus $1.20 in tax for a grand total of $2.19. So for this retail total, for the Tide, the Colgate, and the Bronzer, it was $47.33. I paid $6.22 and $3.82 in tax for a grand total of $10.04. I did earn $14.99 towards my beauty club, and I walked away with $13 in extra bucks, 10 from the Physician's Formula, and 3 from the Colgate. So today at CVS, um, I had a great transaction. Um, I did use two cards, like I said, but I was able to get 
one package of Charmin, six Tides, two body washes, um, five Colgates, they're kind of stacked on top of each other over there, and two Physicians Formula products. Um, I paid about $14, $15 in actual money, so it was a great day today. Like I said, run and try that glitch out. If it's not producing the $10 extra buck, just let us know. But just put it in the comments so anyone else who's viewing this later in the week will know that it stopped. I'm assuming it will stop by tomorrow. Usually when these kind of glitches happen, we kind of go ham on it on Sundays. And then by the time Monday rolls around, corporate has figured it out and they fix it. So if you're going to do it, do it today. Leave it in the comments if you do it and let me know how it goes. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.